Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add snow to your photos in Photoshop. You can uh, add them to a picture like the one that I've chosen, where there's snow on the ground, or uh, maybe you will choose to add it to uh, a beach scene in in uh, in California or something uh, to kind of make it sort of a magical sort of picture that we sometimes like to do in Photoshop. Uh, that part's up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it though, and. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do is add a new layer. Um, I usually like to copy the background layer, but in this case, I won't be manipulating the image, just the layers on top of it, so I'm not going to duplicate the background. I'm just going to add the new layer like I suggested. I'm going to rename it, um, because I like to rename my layers to keep them in order. I'm going to rename this one Snow. The next thing that we want to do is set our foreground color to black over here. Um, if it's like if it's at white, you can just click this arrow thing, and it'll switch it to black. Or yeah, I think if you press Control X, or just X, if you just press X on your keyboard, that'll toggle those back and forth. Okay. Um, then what we want to do is we want to fill that new layer. So we'll go up to Edit, down to Fill. We will set our uh, use to foreground color, and uh, we'll press OK. And that'll uh, make that black. So then we'll go up to Filter, down to Noise, and add Noise. We're going to add about 150% noise with a Gaussian distribution and make sure that the monochromatic is clicked down at the bottom so that we make it all black and white. We'll press OK. We'll then go uh, up to Filter, down to Blur, and we're going to go to Blur More. And that's just to add our first little blur to the snowflakes. Uh, we'll then go up to Image, down to Adjustments, and down to Levels. We're going to then drag the left, um, the black slider over to the right to about 120. 125, and then we're going to drag the white slider to the left until um, we get pretty close, probably about 160, and then I'll uh, press OK. And then that's about what we should have um, right now. Uh, we can then go up to our opacity settings for this snow layer and uh, set it to screen so that we can see the image through there. It's already looking uh, kind of like snow, but it's not quite realistic enough, so we're going to keep on going with it. Um, what we'll do now with our snow layer selected is go up to the top, go to Filter, down to Blur, and down to Motion Blur. I'm going to have an angle of around 69 or 70, uh, that's negative 69 or 70, and a distance of 10 pixels. And that's for now. And uh, that already makes it look quite a bit better. We're then going to uh, go ahead and copy that layer. So you can either drag that layer, like I'm going to do, into the new layer, or you can press Control j on your keyboard. We'll then go up to Filter on this new snow layer uh, copy, which is what it's called. Uh, it, that's the default name for it. With that layer selected, we'll go up to Filter, and we're going to add, uh, go down to Blur and, down and do another motion blur on it. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave the setting the same and press OK. Then we'll go up and uh, go to Edit, down to Transform, and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And that's just going to offset the, uh, the snowflakes from the original snowflake uh, layer just a little bit uh, to make it look like there's a lot of snowflakes. Uh, and now to make those snowflakes look a little bit different, we're going to go up to Filter, down to Pixelate, and down to Crystallize. We're going to set our cell size to 10 and press OK. And that's going to make them uh, kind of different sizes. You can see that there's some bigger chunks sort of in, in there right now. Uh, makes it look like a, a good snowstorm. Uh, we'll then go ahead and go up to Layer uh, and down to Merge Down. And that'll merge those two snow layers together so that they're one. Uh, we'll then go ahead and we will copy that and I'm just going to drag that into the new layer again. And uh, I'm going to go up to Filter and do one more motion blur on it. So I'll go to blur, down to motion blur, and I'm going to give it the same blur as we did before. And we'll press OK. And I'm going to take the opacity of this layer down to uh, about 35. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's about it. Um, we do that so that it gives it a little bit of depth um, in our snowflakes. Um, as you can see, um, the noise that I, I added a lot of noise uh, originally to this image and that made for a lot of snowflakes. If you add less noise you will have less snowflakes and a less big of a storm. This is a this is a pretty big snowstorm right here. Um, if you like I said if you want less just to add less noise at one of the beginning stages. Um, 
And then as far as everything else goes, go ahead and play around with it and see and do it until you get the uh, effect that you would like. Um, this is uh, a blizzard sort of effect. Um, anyway, I, uh, I hope you learned something. Um, please uh, subscribe to my blog, subscribe to my uh, channel on YouTube, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And please, if you like this video, click the like button down below if you're uh, watching this on YouTube. Um, thank you very much.